This model is completed with petrol and diesel engines. Most often in the secondary market there are cars with gasoline with a 2-liter aspirated or with turbocharged engines of 1.8 and 2.0 liters. All engines are equipped with a timing belt type and a hydraulic valve lifter that do not require adjustment. The 2-liter naturally aspirated engine is quite reliable and up to 150,000 km does not require special attention and after the specified millage the engine begins to gradually eat up oil, up to 300 grams per 1,000 km. Of the turbocharged engines, the most reliable unit with a volume of 1.8 liters but very demanding on the quality of lubricants. Under the condition of proper operation, the turbine will leave 200 to 150,000 km. But a 2-liter engine can present unpleasant surprises, so in particular, after 100,000 km of run, carbon deposits and development form on the injection pump pusher and camshaft. Closer to 150,000 km, oil begins to drive through the valve cover. To fix this problem, you will have to pay about 250 USD. Usually, the cause of this phenomenon is a faulty car case ventilation valve, and in such cases, oil can press not only from under the gasket, but also enter the candle wells. After 100,000, the ignition coils fail one by one. The cost of one is about 50 USD. With a millage of over 150,000 km, 99% of cars consume oil, and unlike an atmospheric engine, the consumption here reaches 1 liter per 1,000 km. Sometimes, decarbonizing the rings helps to eliminate this drawback. The turbine, like the turbine, like the 1.8 engine, serves 200 to 150,000 km, but with a run of more than 150,000 km, it starts to take more oil. A 2-liter turbo diesel will most likely please you with its reliability and lack of investments for repairs up to 200,000 km, provided that the previous owner serviced the car on time and refueled with high-quality fuel. After 200,000 km, the nozzles will need to be replaced, and it is worth noting that their cost is quite high. The thermostat, by the standard of modern cars, lasts a long time and requires replacement every 120-150,000 km. At the same millage, a cooling system pump will be asked for replacement, but the fuel pump lives longer, about 200,000 km. On the Audi A4 B7, you can find 5 and 6 speed manual gearboxes, a Multitronic variator, Multitronic, and a 6 speed automatic, Tiptronic, only on all wheel drive versions. The manual transmission is generally not calable, but some owners of cars with a range of more than 100,000 km complain about fuzzy gear changes. The clutch, during normal operation, goes up to 150,000 km. Closer to 200,000 km, you will have to replace the synchronizers. Multitronic up to 150 is not satisfactory, and after that it may start to enter emergency mode, but you should not be very scared, as this most likely occurs due to failures in the electronic control unit. The Audi A4 is equipped with an automatic transmission from the well-known manufacturer ZF. If during acceleration you feel small jolts, then most likely the problem is in the torque converters. Buying a new torque converter is not a cheap pleasure, about 800 USD, as the service you may be offered to repair the old one, but you should not do this, since the repaired part does not last long. The recommendation for extending the life of transmission is simple, change a few times every 40-60,000 km. Audi A4, B7, front suspension, 4-link, rear and trapezoidal levers. Many people think that the Audi suspension is not quite for our roads, but this is not true. During normal operation, the suspension will have to be repaired once every 100,000 km, but in fairness, it's worth saying that you need to invest a lot in this unit. For example, replacing rattling levers in a circle will cost 8-900 USD, for shock absorbers, non-original, 3-400 USD. The owners usually have no complaints about the brake system, the pads here are of good quality and can last up to 60,000 km. Closer to 200,000 km, a steering rack repair will be required, which will cost 200-250 CU. If a leak occurs, it must be quickly eliminated. With a run of 150,000 km or more, on many cars there is a play in the cardan bearing, and in order not to have more serious problems, it must be eliminated in time by replacing the bearing. Over time, in the Audi A4 cabin, air flow control begins to act up, as well as the recirculation system. In such a situation, usually the reason is the wear of the servos. If your air conditioner has stopped working, then first check the presence of refrigerant and the tightness of the system, then the operability of the air conditioning control sensor. If the airbag indicator does not go out during the cold season, then the cause of this failure may be the airbag sensor freezing, try to drive into a heated parking lot, and most likely the problem will be solved by itself. If you are the owner of this car model, please describe the problems that you had to face during the operation of the car. Perhaps it is your review that will help readers of our site when choosing a car.